Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I'm feeling so much better. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the well wishes and everything, and all of your sweet thoughts and and whatnot. When um, I posted the video, of hello, and um, what's going on, and like just to give you guys a heads up and stuff. So, I'm doing so much better, <laughs> less mitigated. Um, I have a few days off, so I get to play and, and do some things and do some projects. I know I haven't posted any projects. Truth be told, I haven't done any projects. There are um, all three of my desks are completely clear, like. There's nothing. But today, um, I went to go pick up Nathan from work, and then I, poor guy, I dragged him to the, um, to the craft stores. We went to Joanne's and Michael's. We went to the ones on the other side of the city, um, just because, um, his job is closer to that side, and I don't want to cross the freeways and, and stuff like that. It's just tedious, um, <laughs> to go to the other side when they have, you know, the Joanne's and, and Michael's over on this side and stuff. We only have two Joanne's in our city, um, but we have tons of Michael's, um, so anyway, uh, let me show you guys. And I got a few things. And then we went to World Market or Cost Plus, whatever the heck they call it in your side of the country. Um, but let me show you guys what I got. I figured, hey, I'd show you, you know. I felt better. So I think after having cabin fever, I wanted to go out and do stuff. So, you know, whatever. So you guys know that I have a massive mason jar addiction, right? Um, it's not going to call it a collection. It's just an addiction, okay? But what you guys don't know also is that I am a massive fan of strawberry baskets, okay? Here's the thing. I just went and bought a bunch of them. I didn't even want to. I just wanted to go. I hadn't gone to, I have not gone to the craft stores, Joanne's, Michael's, and Hobby Lobby for like weeks. I think probably two or three weeks. So everything that everybody's showing, I haven't even seen. I haven't even touched or looked at. You know, it's just whatever. So, but I love mason jars, but I also love berry baskets. Because when I was a kid, they actually had things like this. Th this is a novelty now. Uh, back in my day, we actually had these. You know, you can actually go to the market and they were in these things. So, anyway. Um, and I shouldn't have bought these. I really shouldn't have. I have a case of the regular ones, the regular green ones, in the garage. Because one day, I was going... They're actually over here. Let me show you guys. I keep... Normally, I keep in my craft room on one of the closet shelves. I keep certain things. Like, if I buy a box of these, this is the smaller one. See, this is the... um. Oh, no, this is the, yeah, they're just about that size. This is the original one, that you know, that, that green color. I actually ordered it wholesale from a farm company, a farm supply company. I will keep, like, one of these on hand of everything, of, like, whatever little containers I buy. So if I'm making a project, I'm like, hey, it'll look good on this one. So I don't have a case or the whole box of it in my craft room. I just have one sample-wise so I can um, see if the item that I'm working on will fit or whatnot. So, like, like this that was in it, I ordered these from an Etsy store. And they're just little containers, they're like little ice cream cupcake tree containers, but they're really cute because I ordered them, they cost me like 30 cents or 40 cents a piece, um, and I ordered several of them to have them on so I can send little treats. I've actually made little, um, faux cupcakes with the rosette flowers in here, where you fill, you know, you fill it, the thing with paper or whatever you want to fill it, and then on the top you put rosette flowers, and it looks like a little cupcake when you're looking at it, um... But it's a nice little cute way to package certain things and send them out as well. But when it came to this, I actually found these online on an Etsy store. And it was like, they were like 2 $3 a piece almost. I'm like, that's stupid ridiculous. Um, also with egg cartons. I have the six count plain egg cartons. I got a case of those because it was cheaper for me to order a case from one of the wholesale companies than to order... 12 from an Etsy shop. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Etsy stores. I love it when people have individual things and everything. I have an Etsy store. But I feel that if I want to order just a few of them, I might as well order a whole case and it costs me the same amount. It, if it costs me the same amount to order 10 or 15, 10 or a dozen per se, then I can order a case. Trust you me, I'm going to order a case. I'm going to have extra. I can gift them out. I can rack them out and people can, you know, can use them more. So anyway, but yeah, and I keep stuff, keep them like this on one of the shelves or like several different things, little containers, boxes that I buy by the several of them. So I can, you know, if I'm making a project, I'm like, oh, instead of having to go all the way to the garage and, you know, and check it out. Anyhow, as you know, I may be done with the medication, but I'm not done with the babbling. So anyhow, I was at Michael's and we were looking at these. And I've been wanting these tan ones just because they're cute. I'm not going to lie. I'm telling you, I have a case of those green ones. Oh, and I have in the, the, the tall ones like this and in the short ones. I forgot the quart, pint. I don't know. But I have the shorter ones as well. Yeah, because I had to have both sides. Both sizes. I also have the wood ones. See, this is my strawberry basket of dis dis addiction. I have... A case of the green ones of both sizes, the, the, the full size like this and then the half. And then I even have a case of the wood ones in both sizes as well. 
I know it's bad. Um, if you guys saw, I made one, I altered one for when I did a swap with Elise. And also, um, yeah. And I even have, if you guys saw one of my, my birthday haul from last year from Arizona, I had, I bought one of those vintage strawberry basket, um, picking baskets, which you put these little, the vintage ones in there. Anyway, I digress. So anyhow, they had these already from, I forgot when, but they actually, if you go to the section that has the party supplies, you know, the pre-made party stuff where it ha they have like, um, sorry for the crinkling, that has like the little... Um, like all of the cards, all of the little straws and everything, you know, all in that color coordinated section, you know, everything's blue, green, yellow, and they have all of these. They have other colors. I just grabbed a few because I'm not the biggest fan of yellow. Um, but I thought these were cute. This nice teal, this baby blue, this, the, 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 this one that came out during Valentine's Day, but they have this one and it's all like 40 or 50% off right now. And then I got this teal one just because I want it. But look, I want to show you guys, if in case you guys are wondering, this one is pretty close to the original color. You know, that's still in the wrapper, but this is more of a teal color. Well, this is more of a green color. But the baby blue, this one, and they have two colors. One's a fuchsia and one's this baby pink, this softer pink. And I figure if I'm giving, sending a rag to someone, you know, it'll be um, easy that way. You know, and color coordinate instead of having, look, I'm too lazy. I don't want to paint them. That's my confession, okay? <laughs> I didn't want to have to paint them. So let me show you what else they had. They also had these plastic ones. No, they have these, and these were only like two bucks. These were like eight dollars or something like that, plus whatever sale it was on. These, um, I don't know if they were on sale or what, because you guys know sometimes when you go to the store, everything's a hot mess. These turned out to be like two dollars and two cents. And these are the plastic ones. I might use these on my desk as a container, as containers, excuse me. But even though I said, you know, I told you guys I'm not the big fan of the green, the pink one was more of a fuchsia pink. I plan to paint these. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work if they have a coating because you guys know sometimes there's, um, I know the inside is not, it's going to be a pain in the butt because it's kind of glossy. So it might have a coating on this to keep it from, you know, for whatever they're going to use it for. Whereas the outside, it'll be, um, easier because it's rougher. And this is in the Easter section where they have like the little treat bags and stuff like that. So I got, oops, sorry, I got three of these and I only got them in the green because they only have three in the green. I didn't want the pink because here's, a, here's, here's my fail safe. I figured it'd be easier to color, paint the greens than the pink one because they look just brighter. Anyhow, they have this in the um, in the section where they have like the rec recollections chalk stuff. But look at these; these are wood spools, and yeah, they smell. They smell like um, the stuff that they stain the woods with. Uh, but yeah, you get ten pieces. And I thought these were just really cute. I know I can print these out. I can cut these out of paper or whatever. But I thought these were really cute for when if I want to wrap some twine or something for somebody. And then they can reuse that as well. I can also paint these and put paper on them as, um, as well. I'm probably going to put them. I have a jar where I keep. Let me grab it. Where I keep. Ah, there's a jar where I have spools and stuff like that. And there's a jar. Let me see. Is this the one? Yeah. There's a jar with spools and one with clothespins. These clothespins are not supposed to be in here. They're supposed to be in there. This just has round wood chips. So I will just put them in here and have them for whenever I need them. Um, and the reason why I'm putting this little video together, just to kind of show you guys what I've been up to. And to, I like to put the stuff away. And once I put them away, I have no idea where I have it. That's going straight into the garbage. All right. The Ashland stuff was... 50% off and I just got one of these garlands and I'm not going to place them on anything I just I've always bought I've actually bought in the past excuse me not always um, the little things and I just cut these things off as I use them to make like little branches little accents you can um, make a cute little wreath for one of your cards and whatnot just from you know from that and they had other colors but I figured this one's more of a springy natural color um, they had these because you know right now what's big is the marquee letters they have these tiny ones, and they're like a dollar something in the market section, in the make market, which I love all of that stuff. And I just got mine and um, Nathan's initials. His is painted, but um, I am plan to make them, probably take off this twine, uh, into Christmas tree ornaments. But you can also use these for gift bags, and on a gift bag or something like that for, you know, for their initial and whatnot. But you can actually put lights in here, so I might even have to figure that out with the little Christmas lights or the little... Um, um, flower lights. So that is, yeah, trying to put that away. I'm telling you, I want to put this stuff away. My desks are completely clear. That way I can start doing projects and whatnot. 
Let me show you. And then we went to Joann's. Really didn't find anything. I was just curious to see what was new, what was out. Um, and they had... I love Peeps, you guys. I love marshmallow Peeps. Nathan hates marshmallows, which is okay with me because that's more for me. They have this cute cookie tin, and eventually one day I can probably make a cookie. I doubt it'll be anytime soon, so don't hold your breath. <laughs> um, and this really cute... Um, which one is this? Cookie cutter. And they have the cookie cutters with um, the large bunny and then the peep, little um, birdie peep. They have some more that are this size and it's both of them that size. Now, what I'm planning on doing, and hey, let me know what you guys think, of, uh, you know how you make these cinnamon, um, these cinnamon ornaments for Christmas? I was actually thinking of just using clay, some of my paper dry clay, making and coloring them, of course, making the little bunnies and then put another um, thing of paper dry, a uh, paper clay, you know, stamp it. I mean, punch it out and make fake cookies just to have as decoration. So that is my idea for those cookie cutters because, and then you can take that, um, that Fimo glaze or nail polish, clear nail polish to glaze it over to make it look more like the sugar glaze for the, um, for the cookies, like a real cookie. Um, I've never done it, so we'll see how it works out. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then I have no idea what's in this bag. Where did I buy? Oh. I went, we went to World Market, like I said, Cost Plus, World Market, they call it different things. In the kitchen utensil section, they have these cute, and back to my addictions, let's see, World Market. For 99 cents, they have these tiny little mason jars. And they're smooth, and they're perfect. They're actually spice thingamajiggies. Oop, got it. Spice thingamajiggies. You can, I can use them for glitter. Think about it. That'd be so cute to put, and I'm probably going to do that because I'm nuts. Like I have these Heidi Swap glitters that I put in my little racks. Put that in there and you can use it as a glitter shaker. But I think that would be super cute. But how cute would they make like little snow glows for Christmas? And they were only 99 cents. So I honestly think next time we're around that, um, that store because there's only like, uh, it's pretty far. Um, get some more. I did get three of those. Did I? Yeah. I got three of them because I thought they were super cute and really good for the price. But look, they're actual, they're not, they don't look like chintzy. Um, sorry, they don't look like chintzy, um, mason jars, so they're really cute, and, but like I said, I really like that it's a double feature kind of situation where you can, since these are for spices, you could put glitter or just, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, so those, and now another thing as per my berry basket addiction, they had these, and I just had to get them, they're so cute. It says fresh picked baking cups, and they're and they, they show berry um, blueberry muffins, but they're silicone muffin thingies, and I just thought they were super adorable. And these are, I figured I'd use the scissors that are right next to my craft desk. These are almost the actual color, more true to the color of the original berry basket. And look, they even have the little thing, super super cute. Um, I have a funky little idea where I'm thinking, I don't know how it's going to work out since it's such a huge thing. Um, well, I mean, that's not huge, but it's big of making soap. I actually make some handmade soaps too, of making soaps out of this and maybe making them hollow a little bit and then putting strawberry soap. So it looks like a nice little gift. So, um, so I think that would be a really cute idea since I'm probably not really actually going to bake with it. But I use silicone molds, by the way, if you're ever learning, going into making soaps, don't buy the plastic molds. I personally don't like them, I should say. I shouldn't say for you not to. I personally don't like them because um, they're a pain in the butt to get out. I always use silicone molds. So even when I find like candy or um, candy or like cookie molds and whatever, and they're silicone, I will always use those. I even actually have, here, let me grab it. I got this one before I... Went um, a little disabled there. <laughs> I got this one. I have the, there's a two of these um, silicone molds, and these are for candies, for chocolates, whatever. I use them for soap. And there's one that has the actual physical peeps, you know, this is by the peeps brand. And these are at Michael's as well. But I have that one already that has the bunnies and the peep, um, the little peep chicks. I figured I'd get that one in case I wanted to make a bunch of bunnies to um, use them for Easter because it is right around the corner and I'm so behind on my projects, okay? So, let me see. So, look, I'm at like 14 minutes and something. Let me go ahead and let you guys go. And I have tons of videos to show you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so back. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.